Hey guys, it's Richie from Fret Junkies and we are back. In this upload, we are going to be looking how to choose the right notes from within the pentatonics. Um, this is coming from one of the best players I know who knows how to target notes. This is from Joseph Pielinen. Um, if you haven't heard him, check this out. Okay, so I got put on to Joseph uh, quite a few years back. Uh, he come up in my Instagram feed and uh, I've been hooked since. He's one of the most, um, I would say, prolific players for targeting the right notes with the right chords, highlighting the changes, and just just very all-round classy player. Um, great knowledge, amazing touch, and perfect feel. Um, I mean, those three together are a deadly combo. Uh, and then, you know, just watching him play and what he does is very emotive. And again, that's one of those things that really resonates with me. A very unique player. I can instantly tell if it's Joseph playing. Um, so, you know, these artist lessons have all been from players like with this to offer, something that's unique about them. Um, if you look back through this link up above, it's going to take you back to a collection of artists who have jumped on this. And there's so much to learn in there, guys, okay? Um, I'd suggest going back and checking, checking that out. Anyway, that's not about this. Uh, that This is about this. Um, this is about choosing the right notes within the pentatonic scale um, to fit the chords, which is so important. I've touched on this in, in the past, and I'm very, very thankful that Joseph has jumped on board with this. Um, I'm going to link all his details below. Joseph is teaching via um, Skype, I believe, Zoom, face-to-face. -face, um, and like I said, all his details will be below, get in touch with him, incredible player. Uh, no more talking from me, we're gonna get straight into the lesson. If you do like these videos, make sure to subscribe, like and share where you can, and it, it, you know, it helps the channel grow, and, um, and hopefully we can all get better together. All right, it's Richie from Fred Junkies, thanks for being here, take care, peace. So each of those
those uh, chords has their own set of tones. So um, I'm currently in the key of F sharp minor, um, which puts, puts my pentatonic position kind of right here. Right? Um, now we can turn this whole thing a lot more alive if we really get mindful of what notes are in that little box there. So, for example, if I'm playing my, my D major, uh, D major 9, I have a D, an F sharp, a C sharp, and an E. So the tones A, C sharp, and E would be really nice, colorful tones to hit over in that chord, right? All really nice sounds. Um, for B minor, I was kind of mainly considering it would be the D here, which is the third. You have the ninth here as well, which is the C sharp. The root, which is B. The seventh, which is A. And F sharp, which is my, my fifth. Alright, so B minor then. All those make for some cool sounds. Um, F sharp minor then. I'm kind of thinking of my first F sharp. E my seventh. C sharp my fifth. So I can again think. And you really still hear the chord, right? And the last one is E. So E I'm really having, I just have my triad. So I've got E, B, and G sharp, right? And this one's, a, I guess, a step back from our pentatonic shape right here, but good note right there. So um, what I want to do when I'm playing through this is be mindful of how I play through the changes. Alright, so if I'm playing to my D major 9, right, maybe to my B minor, F sharp minor, to E, right, really cool. It sounds like more than just your pentatonic box. Um, so I really think note choice is a, a really integral part of, of having some good phrasing. So to really open up your playing, what I'd suggest is not just ne necessarily know more shapes, but also just know what notes you're playing and know how they relate to the chord changes. Um, by doing that, you'll have a lot more vocabulary to work from. You know? uh, I hope that made some sense. Peace, everybody.